Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here with new Dark Magician support. As you all know, we had have access to um, Ebon Illusion Magician, actually it's a, a rank 7 Xyz monster that is actually kinda an Xyz version of Dark Magician because I mean, you will see in a second, so uh, this tackle is pretty similar to the one that I brought at the end of, the, of August, but now with Ebon Illusion Magician it's so crazy. So, guys, totally insane. Uh, of course, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, here with Yami Yugi, of course, and Balance. So, um, as all of you guys that already saw my um, Dark Magician video at the end of August, we've got uh, a pretty nice version with balance because uh, without playing Rod, we actually do not need to activate any effect during our first turn main phase. So playing Rob is just so good and it combines so well with balance. And of course we get the benefit of balance, so we um, get guaranteed a trap, a monster and a spell card. Now of course, you know, the best version, the best uh, case scenario is where you draw a dark magical circle um, and a navigation of course, but you know, thanks to um, Ebon Illusion Magician, uh, it kinda resolves a problem of the deck. So, the main problem of the deck right now was that if your opponent manages to deal with your Dark Magic or Silicle, you actually do not have much to do. I mean, you cannot banish your opponent cards, you cannot actually, you know, abuse that effect of banishing cards, and you're pretty scooped because there's nothing you can do except your the Eye of Timaeus, but you know, you cannot play 3 Eye of Timaeus, um, otherwise the deck will become breaky. So, you know, that was a problem. Instead now, with Ebon Illusion Magician, we have a chance to do something more. What? Because we can just summon our Ebon Illusion Magician and from nowhere now we have another effect that can banish our opponent's cards because first of all the when you summon the Ebon Illusion Magician you can detach one Xyz material and summon one Dark Magician from your Ender deck that's pretty cool. I mean it would have been broken if he could have summoned the Dark Magician from the graveyard but that's fine. And the other insane effect is that when a spellcaster type normal monster declares an attack, you can target one card your opponent controls and banish it. So that's pretty cool, of course it's one per turn, so basically when you summon your Ebon, uh, what you want to do, you want to use the effect and summon another Dark Magician so that you can use the effect uh, attacking with the Dark Magician you just summoned. So that's pretty cool guys, that's pretty insane, not gonna lie. And so, uh, as I told you before, these actually fix the issue of when you actually when your opponent gets rid of your dark magical circle. So we have another way to banish, and of course, there's no need to tell you that if you manage to to uh, keep your dark magical circle on the field, you will get double banish. So the, the the things becomes even more insane. So. The, the build is pretty standard as you can see, I like to play again the combo Jet of Greed plus Magician Dark Illusion, especially if you um, choose the order of the of the next cards you're gonna draw with Dark Magic or Circle, so um, Jet of Greed becomes, um, you know, uh, actually not a casual card. Uh, then the only mm, mm, uh, modification that I applied was to not use, uh, was not using the um, the heat wave and replacing it with dark magic veil because actually this can be pretty good for two reasons. Um, this can provide the exist material for your ebon illusion magician summon and also you can uh, actually use this to summon an ebon illusion magician. So let's suppose you have a dark magician on the field and maybe the other the other ones are already in the grave, but you also have an ebon in the grave. You can use your dark magic veil to summon your illusion magician, and the effect of banish does not require you to detach any Xyz material, so that's pretty good. And of course, the dark magic veil can be used also to uh, special summon back from the grave a dark cavalry. Keep in mind that. And guys. 
For the rest, we got, of course, the usual combo. You want to have your Magician's Rob on the field. Also, Magician's Rob is pretty cool because when you use any spell and trap effect and it is in the Grave, you can special summon him with no cast, and this can actually provide extra protection just in case your opponent is going all in. So, that's pretty cool, guys. Uh, a very consistent deck. Um, I actually think that these can, you know... Uh, can look for Kog, definitely. Can try to reach Kog. Um, I definitely think so. Um, I definitely will play a lot of this uh, during this month, so I will actually update you if this can reach Kog, but I will not reach Kog with this because, as you know, guys, we still have three months left to reach Kog with our hero decks, so I cannot reach Kog with my Dark Magician, unfortunately. And that's all for the explanation, guys, of course. Um, uh, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First replay against another new character from Arc 5. I can't remember the name because I actually didn't see the show, so I actually know nothing. So let's see what we got. We've got um, not a so good hand as you can see. It is a Pendulum deck, Yosenju. So one of the strongest, and this actually might be uh, top tier. So let's see. But I do not have Yosenju, so, uh, and I'm not willing to take them, and as well as the, Yose the Pendulum stuff. So let's see what we got. Dark Magic Circle. We're chilling. Yosenju Secret Move to negate that. And was well, pretty unlucky right here, but we've got a Magician's Rob with a, a Jar of Greed in the end just to be able to summon a Dark Magician from our deck and one set to draw an extra card, so there you go now, since you are Pendulum Summon with the um, actually the Haste Monster, Mayus and Judaibak this guy can target up to two cards in the field and return them to the hand so it was pretty good, but he decided to target the um, his own spell card, I don't know why, and it's fine, I changed the effect of Rob not to take damage, and we're chilling. In the end phase, Greed just, I actually hoped to draw the illusion, uh, to just to summon him, but I didn't, so that's fine. But now I have the full combo, Dark Magical Circle, and we've got, you know, uh, just one of his navigation set because I want to be able to use the effect of robot just in case something happens to the um, to navigation and there you go uh, I chained the rob because I wanted to summon uh, Both uh, two dark magician instead of the uh, other one and uh, and I wanted to have two uh, nav Magician navigation in the grave, but he used the um, uh, these words sting to make that come back to hand and avoid the banishing, that's fine because now we have anyway double negation. Um, there you go, Zenju's words thing, but this time it's gonna be negated. So, um, there you go, we can just negate that. And uh, the only bad thing is that we cannot actually do stuff, but we had a uh, jar of greed. And I'm almost sure I was I made um, the the next the next card I would have, I was about to draw was a, 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 a magician of dark illusion. So with my jar of greed, I was ready to banish a card in his turn. That's how you do it. Second duel against Yuya. So another arc five uh, deck. Let's see what we got. Turning up the heat to have the two pendulum zones. That's fine. Let's see what we got. No dark magical circle. We're chilling anyway, we've got the Rob, and so now, even if we do not have navigation, we have two, we can have, we potentially have two Dark Magician on the field, the one summoned with Rob is a fact, and the other one summoned with Jar of Greed, um, by drawing and summoning the Magician of Dark Illusion. So, uh, double skill, there you go, then Typhoon on the Jar of Greed, activated in response, so we do not, we draw a card, then we summon the, Dark, the Magician of Dark Illusion, and then just a couple of set, and in the end phase, I decided to go for my Dark Magician summon, there you go. So, first thing first, XC summon Ebon Illusion Magician, there you go, this, uh, th there you go, the line, but it's got the Floodgate Trapple, that's pretty unlucky, so yeah, to attack with that, and I keep, I kept my Magician Navigation in hand, because I can use with Rob, and in fact, in the end phase, Rob's, Rob once again to summon a Dark Magician from the deck, there you go, uh, then Illusion, ma illusion Magic to actually get rid of the Floodgated Ebon, so we're chilling, 
and we've got double lock magician then another uh, rob and there you go exceeds shokan into the level two this can be pretty nice because you can negate a card on the field i decided to negate the the pendulum cards then i decided to attack drowning i said no thank you because i had magician navigation but then when i attacked with the dark magician for game he had another trap and i couldn't do a thing but then he draws he's got nothing uh, and keep in mind that the pendulum scale is negated with the effect of the number 45. That's how you do it. Third duel, my boy, against Neo Space. Actually, it's a Predoplant Neos. Pretty cool to see, actually, not gonna lie. We've got um, uh, not a perfect hand because we missed the. Um, we missed the Dark Magic Circle, of course. He's got the Predoplant, a little guy to summon the fusion with its effect, then I just let him attack, uh, it's fine to take the damage, but then I use Magician Navigation because I wanna ha I wanted to have double uh, Dark Magician on the field, actually double level 7, so that I can go into a, um, uh, an Ebon, there you go, um, and as soon as I, I was ready to use the effect, but it's got finish Chain. Now look at this, at this fantastic misplay, he used the effect because he wanted to banish my Ebon, but this says that he can target a monster with a level less than or equal to these cards. But Xyz monsters have um, have no level. So he had to banish himself. It was pretty unlucky. Actually, a pretty misplay. Nia's fusion is fine, but he didn't attack and I do not know why, actually. So Dark Magical Circle right here, pretty lucky uh, to draw another navigation, uh, uh, even if the actually deck is pretty thin, so, you know, it, it was probably, it, it was a probable thing, you know, and then again, that the thing to go for another fusion, uh, Battle Phase, Magician Navigation, to summon the uh, Dark Magician, in defense position with Magician Dark Illusion to banish uh, the um, the Chimera Flesia, right? Is his name and to recycle the uh, the rod. So in this case, guys, recycling the rod was pretty useful because now I can summon Dark Magician, use the effect of a circle, and as you can see right here, uh, and banish one and, uh, and have another banish. But it's got bad aim. No, sir. Magician Navigation says no, thank you. And I got rid of everything. I could just swing in, and I'm, now I'm in control of the duel. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone on the circle, and that's fine. Then another News Fusion, but I have another Magician Navigation thanks to the one that I discarded with Rob, and I'm chilling. So just a set monster, just to draw an extra card, but I got nothing. So just to rob and to swing in, let's see uh, if we can end the duel right here. There you go, he's got nothing else, that's how you do it. My rank up duel guys, with these two, um, with this Dark Magician version, I uh, rank up till Legend. Uh, rank 1, so against the new um, character right here, I think it's Yusenju, right? Um, let, let's see if it's Yosenji. It should be Yosenji top tier deck. The next top tier deck. Yes, there you go with 5 formation tanky to have the East 9 then Yosenji comma 1, the effect to summon the other one, draw an extra card, and then the effect to bounce my rob back to hand, but I change the effect to discard the illusion magic and have a Dark Magician on the field so he cannot attack, but he decided instead to go for the Malevolent Sin Summon, so uh, banishing temporarily my Dark Magician and swinging for uh, damage. Um, I used the Jarvis Grid because I was hoping to draw the Magician of Dark Illusion, but of course I did not. And then I was pretty unlucky right here, as you can see, I have a bunch of monsters, no spell, no trap card. Um, so it just swing in and nothing else, I'm chilling. So then another Rob, uh, I had to wait basically, and he decided to sit on his. Um, uh, um, on his malevolent scene, then he decides to attack with Isna. Bad choice, it takes it took some damage, and it's fine. He's not coming back to hand, I, I have to get rid of that. So, that magical circle finally to add a navigation. We're chilling now because we have the full combo ready. Um, uh, must you hit it right here, then the R to make to uh, increase the level scale, but I chained. The magician navigation to summon both the guy and be able to banish the skill so he cannot pendulum summon. Then seem to boost him up once again and look at the play right now. Uh, because now we've got remember that we've got the navigation to negate this spell and trap card. So we're chilling. Uh, magician Dark Illusion summon to banish that. 
than magician like illusion to special summon the dark magician exceeds shogun with even illusion magician than illusion magician's effect to summon a dark magician from my end or deck and then uh, set card attacking with dark magician use the effect of ebon to banish that monster going in for lethal and that's how you do it guys so we have another with ebon illusion magician we've got this other way to banish cards and we are not scooped if, if we do not have dark magical circle that's the thing uh, I was pretty happy. I actually expect a dark magical stru uh, structure as uh, a lot of you guys also uh, uh, told me in the next month, actually in this month maybe, uh, or maybe next one, who knows. We hope so. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all the explanation and the replays. Feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, see you in the next one.